Dang it. Now I'm going to have to do another Ruby shipping video. And here I was hoping that the third one would be the last so I could talk about a different series on Valentine's Day. Spoiler warning! This is a review for Ruby Volume 7 Episode 2. If you haven't seen the episode yet, you may want to before watching this review. So wait, Ironwood wants to tell the world about Salem's existence and do it by creating a CCT network that won't completely shut down just because of one tower going down? Did this show just become self-aware? The CCT network having four towers that connected the kingdoms in a way where they would all lose the ability to communicate when one goes down was just asking for a fall of beacon to happen. Ozpin basically gave Salem the perfect tool to screw him and the four kingdoms over in one concentrated attack. I really like this episode because it took the absolute piss out of the stupidity I highlighted back in my honest look at Ozpin. Not to say this episode was perfect, it was a little dull and had a lot of exposition, but it was handled better than previous similar episodes, mostly because they actually showed things. Ironwood explains his plan with an animated graphic, Watts explains the flaws in the network by exploiting it on his walk. The only scene where this falters is at the beginning. Forrest is obnoxious. I like that they played him as a joke, but he still had no reason to be there other than giving us an exposition dump on Robin Hill. An exposition dump, mind you, that we didn't really need because it was already in a bunch of background shots last episode. They almost, almost did a good job with world building on this election. A lot of praise is going to be levied at the tender moment between Weiss and Winter, and the even tender moment between Crow and Ironwood, but my favorite thing really was Ironwood's plans. Yes, there's tiny little oversights like Salem being immortal. I'm also of the opinion that doesn't really matter. Here's the thing. Salem's greatest strength has been her secrecy, a secrecy Ozpin kept gift wrapping for her. Without Ozpin's lies, Salem would have never been able to turn Raven or Lionheart against him. And so, even if Ironwood does find out Salem is immortal, he still needs to tell the world, he still needs to destroy all her forces and put her in a position where she's never able to amass that kind of army ever again. And what better way than to throw all her dirty laundry out for the world to see and unite the entire planet against one single individual. If I were to levy any complaints, it would be stylistic ones. This volume is promising some of the most poignant and serious themes to date, yet every moment is accompanied by distracting cartoon sound effects and deliberately choppy frame rates that don't carry the comedic punch it thinks it does. And it gets pretty annoying in this episode. This really did feel like the start of a grander and more intriguing adventure than what Ruby has done before. It's not quite the strong start Volume 6 had, but it's also a lot harder to picture a way for them to screw it up. We'll see how it handles itself when the action starts rolling back in with the next episode. Until then, I'm Mediocrity4, thanks for watching.